voters are turning out in Josephine County. This morning, uh, Monday morning, we were at 35 percent. That's about 2 percent higher than tip than what is typical for a primary election. That's because of two hot button issues. The sheriff's office and the city police office should be merged. I'm very frightened if that the sheriff's department doesn't pass um, their levy. A levy that would increase property taxes that would fund public safety and a commissioner's race. Yeah, the unusual part is, is there, there are strong candidates in both both races. That has brought voters out of the woodwork to give their say. The sheriff's office and the city police office should be merged. Measure 1743. The four-year criminal justice tax levy would increase property taxes by $1.99 per $1,000 in property value, or roughly 200 bucks a year. That would allow the sheriff's office to provide services at about the same level that we are currently. The county says at this rate they would continue to fund sheriff patrols, maintain jail beds, juvenile detention services, the district attorney's office, detectives division, and four juvenile probation officers. Well, the county's broke. You know, we, we the past commissioners have allocated the, the, the leftover timber payments over the last four or five years, but that well has run dry now. There's a lot of really bad people out there and they will gravitate to our area because they'll know that there is no police force. You know, we're living on a line of credit. You know, you can't not uh, extend some things, but certainly uh, I think the city police department, uh, you know, be angry at my answer, but I think they're, they're overstaffed. You know, you've got 50-some officers. Commissioners did pass a resolution that would reduce the levy amount if the federal government passes their extension of timber payments. But for fiscal year 12-13, um, the county would collect 7.5 million as opposed to 12 million to counter the amount collected from that timber payment extension should it pass. But that won't be known until June 1st. A similar tax levy has been voted down before. I think the circumstances are different in the sense that the federal government essentially has said, you know, except for this one little bill that's in there, no more money. But county leaders say money has run out from federal timber payments. Most rural counties are facing budget shortfalls. It's too small a county to have that large of an administration. And that's brought questions about the county commissioner's race, one which is forced to retirement and another to be recalled. Well, it's a, you know, it's a popularity contest, but also it's a matter of not communicating with people and having a less than a receptive attitude in that position. Casanelli, who was recalled last December as a commissioner, is now running against the current county clerk and recorder, Art Harvey. Well, I don't, I don't think I should comment on people that are running against me. Come tomorrow, he won't have a choice as voters will turn in their ballots 